welcome back to my channel. Today I just want to give an update on how this Mayday Beauty wig is holding up and I want to talk a little bit about wig bands today. Stay tuned. Alright, so I wore this wig for about a week straight on and off. Of course, I don't wear my wigs at night. I did fall asleep in this wig and I took a nap and I woke up and it still looked good. good. So that's a plus because I sweat in my hair, my head. And when you sweat in your head, God only knows what your wig will look like when you wake up the next day. Um, I also found that um, this wig does get tangled. Okay, let's just be honest, like every synthetic wig. And I really had to carry around a um, brush in my purse when I went out because after I was out for a while and moving around a bit, it definitely got tangled. As you can see, it's not as flowy as it was, but of course, who, um, what synthetic wigs really last that long? I also had to end up putting on a wig band. So this is normal that with synthetic wigs, human lace front wigs, or whatever wig you may be putting on, that you're gonna have to wear a wig band. So I'm not wearing one right now. Since you know I'm not doing too much, it's not moving, it's tucked really well. But after a few days, um, the grips on the wig within the wig loosened a bit. So I definitely had to put on my wig grip. I did get this from Amazon and you could pretty much get them anywhere. You can just type in wig grips on amazon.com and lots of them come up. I decided to go with this velvet felt like wig band they do have other wig bands that I want that I actually want to try that have like a little clear parting space in the middle so I'm assuming it'll blend more in the part because if this color of this wig band doesn't match the complexion of your skin you will see it it looks a little crazy okay and if you don't know what a wig band is for it's for so your wig will not slide um, I know I started rambling on about um, a wig band, but just in case you're totally new to wigs and getting to know the process for what you may need when you're wearing wigs, you may need a wig band to make sure that your wig does not slide off your head and you embarrass yourself out in public or wherever you may be, okay? Okay, so this is my detangling brush that I literally carry around all the time with me in my purse because I, you gotta have a brush for this. Not because I'm wearing wigs. Like even if you wore your natural hair, you gotta keep a brush nearby. That's just what it's like to be in a woman. You gotta keep stuff like this in your purse. So this is, I believe, Evolve. It's kind of faded a little bit, but you can find this on Amazon. Again, I had actually had found this on, um, my sister had found this in store at, at Target, but I could never find it in Target. So you may find it in Target or Walmart, but this is what I recommend to detangle your wigs or your hair. Um, if they start to get tangled okay for me i just think that this brush is easier to detangle your wigs and your hair so that's why i choose to use it over a regular paddle brush that seems to really pull out the wigs and the fibers of the wig itself uh, but overall this wig was 29.99 like come on it, it's it still looks great again i wore this for about a week on and off in the evenings i don't fall asleep in my wigs um i take them off at night and you know again for the price i really think this was a great wig so go ahead and check out mayday beauty wigs <laughs> 